So there's a couple awesome things that have happened here in Centerville, Tennessee. One of them is Howdy, Minnie Pearl. This is her birthplace. And if you don't know who Minnie Pearl is, like I don't know, they may I don't know if you should be watching our channel or not. Just go Google Hee Haw and you'll find out who Minnie Pearl is. The other thing is back to the Land Festival, and this is year number two. I'm telling you, if you're not coming to this festival, you are missing out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Old Crows Homestead. We are camping right now. He's frying up potatoes and then we're gonna, we got some ribeyes and some shrimp. He's gonna fry those up too. And we are actually out at, what is this place called? Pine, Piney River Resort RV place or something like that. Um, this is where we're camping for the weekend for the Back to the Land Festival. So um, we got here, I got some really awesome footage of some of the campsites, not our campsite, but some of the campsites that you can rent here. It actually costs like double what we paid for our site, but I'm gonna show you those right now. Yeah, they park on that. Look at this. Oh my god. You could actually go down there and swim. This place is beautiful. Yeah, I like it over here. I'll check it out. Yep. Well, it's bright and early on Friday morning. We are headed to the festival. Um, the festival doesn't actually start until, um, I want to say 1.30 or 2, something like that. Um, it's in Centerville. Yeah, so um, you can Google Back to the Land Festival and I'm sure you would find it just fine. But um, we're headed that way and we hope to see y'all there. So, when all right, everybody, we're at the uh, Back to the Land Festival here and this is Randy with Two O Crows. And you can see what we got set up here, or had set up by the time you see this video. Hey, how's it going? And we all looked around and we're like, this is messed and up. As you can see, you got... Do you think that's messed up? Got Nicole yeah, Salsa for right up. now speaking. And then it got more messed up and more messed up. Hi, everybody. We are at the Axelon Anvil Handworks. And here they make different items. Iron. And over here we have where he makes that. Yeah, with enough time and patience and skill. Would you mind uh, tell us what you do, what you're doing? I'm fixing to make a nail. I make a lot of nails. That's a hammer. It's a riveting hammer. The light hammer is a full hammer. And then these are all top tools. I like I like Lord of the Rings. Well, uh, what you want to explain to everybody what you what you have here? Uh, I make my own seasoning blends. Um, no preservatives, clumping agents, anything like that in them. I try to use the best ingredients, and and then I just started making charcuterie cheese boards. Well, that's pretty neat. So, and I, I we started from rough cut and planed them down and cut them out. And How would they be able to get a hold of you if they want to? 
order anything from you uh, or honeybees kitchen and mercantile i'm on facebook instagram and um you, that's also my um email address at gmail all righty well that's very cool we we actually bought one of these boards from her earlier it's a big cutting board and it's pretty good quality you ask me well thank you but yeah just feel free to check her out and help support the uh, the network that we're all in thank, thank you thank you the other thing we have and this is delightful so we have 200 people here we got 500 people next weekend that's 700 people except for this one you go to exit and build it's not 500 people all of these networks are large numbers and as we start going and developing relationships from event to event to event we have power in numbers, and the best tool we have is not our ability to fight back physically. Government officials hate being made to look stupid. And so when you make them look stupid, that's when you see examples of the, the biggest wins. We're still at the Back to Land Festival, and we happen to run into somebody. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> This is Billy, Perma Pasture Farms. We follow him on YouTube. So, uh, tell us what you do. Well, we do all things permaculture. Um, I mean, obviously, people who watch our channel watches yours too, but. Yeah, yeah. So, we, you know, we, we do a lot of things. We basically farm at our place. We do a lot of cool things out and about, like coming at this festival. William, my son, is teaching over there composting, which he is extraordinary at. Um, we're kind of doing a lot of education these days and we're doing butchery classes next week we're going to be doing a uh, class out at the self-reliance festival we're going to show people how to put in plant guilds how to plant fruit trees how to put them in the swales how to do all these things so there's a lot of hands-on stuff we're doing these days but most importantly honestly it's just cool to hang out here with my friends um, and all the new friends we're making out here so that's the beauty about coming to a place like this you meet old friends you meet new ones and you just have a joyful time getting to exchange ideas with one another. It's a, it's 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 really a pleasure to be here. Well, do you want to uh, tell us what you have? And yeah, have absolutely. Them? Well, this isn't mine. This is what I yeah. traded. See, we do a lot of bartering out here too. Nicole at Hollow Rose Coffee. She traded me this for one of these rice knives. William basically, we got these all at the website. William uh, basically does everything you see here on this side of the table. My wife Michelle. This is all comfrey salve, good for just about any ache, pain, cuts. Honestly, back in the day, they called it knit bone because people that would break bones, they would sit here and make a poultice out of it and they would actually put your bones back together. I know it sounds crazy, but it works, I think. Um, this here is something I do. This is the world's best deer repellent, made all natural out of bones and all the all bones, water, heat, and time and the process I invented. And you stick it on your fruit trees, and it's going to last about 30 years. But um, this is what we make at our farm. But and, and, that, and that won't harm the fruit trees? Not at all. No, no. It won't harm the flavor. won't hurt the tree. A lot of people are using it for things it wasn't intended for, and it seems to be working out in some of the gardens, whether it's a raised bed and whatnot. works on deer and rabbits, but it won't keep pigs or anything else away from it. But it, it does Well, work. I know for a fact you can't keep pigs from anything. Oh, that's a fact. <laughs> Well, how can people uh, how can people get some of this stuff? Yeah, yeah, you can go to our website, permapasturesfarm.com. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, Permapastures Farm. Um, we're pretty easy to find out there. William, I'm told we even have an Instagram, but I'm something of a Luddite. It's all I can do to be able to call somebody on this thing, much less do anything else. So that's how you can find us. All right, Billy, we, we appreciate your, your time. and Hey, if y'all get a chance, Find a way to get a hold of Randy's pork belly candy. He saved my bacon last night. I, I didn't almost, I came that close to not getting none. He got me a bowl. Y'all walked out of here looking like they had a little fat Pokemon. Fat as a tick when leaving here. So, uh, yeah. You hey, had actually, it. Randy we, ought to be selling that pork belly candy. We, we've made some, and it's like episode 37 remember or it. something like that. On, everything is on it. Well, that stuff is a winner, y'all. So if you got to come to one of these festivals just to be able to get a hold of his pork belly candy, y'all, it's something else. <laughs> I guarantee you. All right. All right. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, brother. All right, everybody. We're here with Grumpy Acres. Hey, folks. This is Grumpy. How you doing? 
Angela. We're having a good time. Angela. Or Yoda. Hey, everybody. Uh, you guys mind telling us a little you, YouTube world, mind telling everybody what a little bit about yourself and, and what you do? You go ahead. Sure. We are, we are Grumpy Acres Farm. We are from northeast Kansas, up, up, up north of Topeka area, up in that corner of the state. Uh, we've been homesteading for probably close to 10 years now. And within the last year, in fact, in fact, October 1st, we will have been on our new property for a year. And we are exploring alternative uh, revenue streams based off of homestead products. So we've got, uh, we've got freeze dried stuff, we've got candies, we've got entrees. Uh, all the meat comes off our property. We try to source as many of the ingredients off the property. She cooks it in the kitchen. We, we barter it. We sell it at things like this. Um, trying to provide a product. We sell it at things like this for compost only. It's uh -huh. all compost. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are not. Check it yeah. out. <laughs> She's got one over there that's pot roast. She's got salsa catfish. Check it out. Yeah. There's yogurt bites, American goulash. She got everything. Yeah. This is this is the really fun one right here. It's a uh, rooting hormone. This is new and something that um, I just put together. So the rooting hormone um, plus that actually has comfrey in it. So it's a rooting uh, hormone with a fertilizer inside of it. And like I thought, it's not for rooting pigs. No, it's right, not for, not for rooting pigs. So <clears throat> the nice thing is, if you're going to take a branch. Uh, tree you want to go ahead and you're going to uh, get that into another tree <clears throat> And then you're just going to graft it take it down dip it in this or the natural hormone put it in the ground You got a new fruit tree and um, you can also use it with your vegetables and all of that The nice thing about it is and with the plus because there's a fertilizer in there when it's time to start your tomatoes and all of your seeds for the garden, you're gonna soak your seeds in there for 15, 20 minutes. There's an eye droplet in there, so you're not wasting a whole lot. And that's gonna help that seed really generate and, and get in there. Well, so, if people didn't have a chance to get to a, a festival like this and you guys aren't around, how do they go about ordering any of your well, wonderful right now, products? Right now. I'm telling you guys right now, this right here, it's almost like eating crack. <laughs> <laughs> so you can catch us on YouTube at Grumpy Acres Farm. And then um, you can find our email at therealgrumpyacres at gmail.com. Email us. We <clears throat> do do square card if we need to. You can mail us a check. However you guys want to do it. And um, so we can figure that out and then we'll ship it out to you. Um, but we are we are working on a website. We are working on a website, and you can also get us at freesteading.com. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're already not on there, I'm going to tell you this is a great resource for homesteaders. Um, you can meet people locally. They've got state discussion groups. They've got content creators on there that are acting as uh, subject matter experts, and it's just it's a fantastic free free speech platform that just, it's only been up for a month and it's growing gangbusters, folks. And, let me, and let I'm me, amazed at how many freesteading.com people are actually oh yeah, out here. Absolutely. This is great this weekend. And, and I, I want to say something, though. The, the, we are unapologetically a capitalistic. You know, we're, I'm tired of apologizing for making money. But that's not why we're the result of our search for freedom. And that's what our channel's about. Our channel's about, about gaining community and, and going in pursuit of freedom. And the way we do this is through homesteading. We, we un unplug from the system. And we, we grow our own food. We, we, we try to become as self-sufficient as possible. Get the poison off of our table and out of our you kitchen. Know, and and right. self-sufficient mm -hmm. means being able to take care of any pro as many problems as possible that we face with the tools, skills, and material that we have on hand. These are all tools. The, the food is a tool. The, the selling of the food is the tool. And it's all in search of freedom. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's why we're doing YouTube. And that's why we're here at something like that. Because we want to... We wanna, encourage and share our experience with people Everett's so that they'll dad, you go out and pursue, pursue 
freedom. You want to do something extremely revolutionary tomorrow? If everybody go here, plant if a garden. Kind of the edit, That's the most revolutionary you can thing. Ask you around. Yeah, and it's not too late to plant a fall garden right now. That's right. Exactly. So that's if you take anything away from from okay, what we're saying here, that's the most important thing. To do some really cool go be free so someplace. Kind of All right, we got it. Well, we appreciate talking talk with you. Thanks, yeah. Thanks. So zoom in on this card. And Thanks, Randy. Doing you can the stop the video right here. It has all of their information so on it. You can contact you them, get freeze-dried food. And let me just say, support cool each other. Don't Absolutely. support big box stores. Right this is where you need house. to be getting your stuff. Alita if you're worried and you want freeze-dried food, that's the chick right there. Get it from her. Don't be supporting big box stores. She works for Montessori. and she's in the There you go. And it's better quality. And it's low sodium. And it's real food off of their farm. Support them. We are not a USDA kitchen. She's got a lot of experience. It's for compost, right? <laughs> quit, quit asking for permission and just go do it. Right. All right, guys, appreciate talking with y'all. So, what is actually like making it turn? Is it? I've got the other rear wheel on the ground. Randy and Jackson having some fun playing checkers at the Back to the Land Festival. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so weird. So who has a question about anything? Yeah. So I'm Jordan Goodwin, and I'm a blacksmith. I hit hot metal for a living. I'm Justin Metcalf. I'm a millwright. I build grain mills. I'm Melissa Goodwin. I spin and weave, and not just when I drive. <laughs> I am Mama Ray, and there's no definition. <laughs> I'm William Bond, and I'm a permaculture designer. My name's Adam Martin, and I'm kept by bees. <laughs> I'm Billy Bond, and I'm his dad. <laughs> Come a little closer. Okay, she's asking, for those who didn't hear it, are you asking, can you do a turkey the same way? Okay, so I'm also a professional butcher. I was trained by Michelin Star Chefs in uh, Kansas City. And that's Nicole Sauce, um, my friend, and she's awesome. And Hollow Rose Coffee, she has, makes the best coffee around there. She provided all the coffee, so she definitely requires... Um, Okay, as a, as a professional butcher, as one of the hats we wear at our farm, um, believe it or not, I'm going to say something you might find a little strange. No matter the animal, the evisceration process is exactly the same. So it may be a chicken, it may be an ostrich, it could be a cuda Monday, it could be a cow, it doesn't matter. It's really, I know it sounds crazy, but the evisceration process is essentially the same. Oh, oh, okay, absolutely. The guy standing next to you, that's Darren Strong. Hand him the microphone and he'll answer that for you. <laughs> I, can, I can talk loud enough, though. <laughs> no, she's asking if you can, uh, it, on the chicken, when you lay them legs up and make it so it's more stable, you, you can do that with just about any bird. You, you know, if the size is going to be different. I imagine doing an ostrich would be kind of awkward on a table. But it'd be the same thing. Um, and what you're doing is making that platform more stable to, to uh, be able to cut that meat. So, um, huh? Not yet. Yeah, well, to not gut it. Um, like you, we we did yesterday. If you were here and we we dressed those last few for the fillet for the uh, breast and the wings. Um, yeah, that's that's how we do it, and that, and that opens up the front side or the inside of the thigh to be able to cut uh, the leg off of the bird. So, and, and like I said, it'll be like that on any bird. So, did that answer the question? Okay, y'all. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're on our way to go meet up with um, Grumpy Acres and Hacks for the Homesteader and. Um, from pasture farm and I'm just going to tell you this road 
is sketch and I feel like I'm in a Blair Witch project. I don't know how Randy feels about this, but this is like a one lane road. We're expecting to see Chupacabra we're running down through here or Bigfoot or something. And I know it looks more daylight, but it's actually not. And uh, I don't know, man. So I guess if you see this video, you know that we made it. <laughs> but this is what we're driving into right now. <laughs> you always tell anything yet. Yeah. This is craziness. It's just craziness. Somebody could have told us. They could have been like, you're going to drive on a road that just ain't right. But no, nobody said that. Everybody was like, oh my God, this place that we're at is amazing. They didn't tell me that it was like at the bottom of nowhere. I don't know. The GPS says we're 2.8 miles away and it's going to take us 11 minutes to get there. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Okay, at least now we're on a chip road. This is a little bit better. And it looks like you might be able to, I don't know, it still looks like one lane. I don't know. But it says that we've got about one and a half miles to go, but the GPS... Line, turn left onto Smith Road. The GPS says it'll take us um, eight minutes to get there, so... I don't think it's getting narrower again. All right. And we're back on a dirt road. A red dirt road. This is like a country song, isn't it? Isn't there a country song, Red Dirt Road? God, I hope there's like people at the end of this road that we know. <laughs> Well, we are headed back home from the Back to the Land Festival. Um, we are both exhausted, <laughs> but it was a great time. We really enjoyed ourselves. It was great seeing old friends. Um, it was great making new friends. We had, we actually at this one, we had a booth set up and um, going up and down and I'm sorry about that um, at this one we actually had a booth set up and we sold um, soap and thank you for everybody who purchased it yes thank you very much and we sold um, wax melts and jewelry <clears throat> jewelry that our oldest daughter makes and wax melts that our daughter Sam makes so um, all of those things are available on the website if you're interested um, I'm gonna, what I didn't sell at the festival, I'm gonna go back and load up on the inventory on the website so you can check that out. Um, so some highlights, I'm trying to get this where I can see better. Okay, some highlights from the festival. Um, what do you think, Randy? What's your takeaway? Oh, Bitcoin. So one of the ladies that was there I think her name was Ray. Um, she actually did a talk about um, how to make money on your homestead. And it was really good. I did not actually videotape that one. Um, but I'm sure somebody did. I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere. But um, one of the things that she was talking about was Bitcoin. And of course, Randy and I know nothing about Bitcoin. So um, we talked a little bit with um, Nicole Sauce about that, and she she actually explained it very well. Um, we still need to do some research and find out more about it and, and how it works and what it's all about. So that's kind of one thing that we were planning to do. Um, for me, I was really excited to see the um, class on strawberries. And I know that, you know, a lot of you probably plant strawberries and have huge success with them. Um, I've tried planting them in the ground and I kill them every time. I do have strawberries growing in our green stock and they're doing very well. Um, but uh, they had a guy there that did this whole class on everything that he does to raise strawberries. 
and he lives down there in Tennessee. They sell them at, you know, they have customers that they sell to and everything. I, th I want to say he said he had like a thousand strawberry plants. But, um, uh, I am, I'll make it a whole separate video for that because I did videotape that whole thing. And, um, so I'll put that out separate from this one. Um, and then also we got... I don't know if you can see it, but that little bag right there is a starter bag. Let me see. Yeah, right there. That little bag right there is a starter bag of... Legal mushrooms. <laughs> I think they're called burgundy cap mushrooms. I believe that's what it is. And um, so I'm going to try to grow mushrooms. So I'm kind of excited about that. But, um, oh my gosh, it was just... If you don't go to this festival, I highly recommend it. I mean, there were people, there were people that came in all the way from Pennsylvania, from all the way from Kansas, um, Kansas State, almost like they're almost on the Nebraska border. Um, there were people, um, friends there that are from Alabama. Um, of course, uh, Billy and William from North Carolina. There was actually another lady that was there from North Carolina. First time she ever um, processed a chicken. Justin. Yeah, Justin from Metcalf Mills in North Carolina. He was there. I mean, there are people driving in from all over. Um, Anne of All Trades was there. And her presentation was really awesome. If you don't follow her on, on YouTube, you totally should. Um, who else was there? Oh my gosh, there were so many people. And of course, Matt and Gabby... Um, doing the whole thing and Daniel and um, I think his wife's name is Alicia Daniel and Alicia there They had it at their farm. They have a an awesome little homestead down there um, Really beautiful piece of land It it was just it was a great weekend um, If you're looking for your people your community um, You know people to learn from people to grow from I mean it is definitely the place to be so um you know, I, I, we're going to start probably after the first of the year, getting into the beginning stages of planning for next year. So, um, the first time, you know, keep checking back to the website, the backtothelandfestival.com, and um, all of the details for the next festival will be, will be on there. Um, just come. It's a, it's a great time. Anyway, I will talk to you all later. Bye. Yeah, God bless you. Have a great day.